Hi everyone, it's Dawn Jones here with Pendulums 101. Now this is my very first video so if I stutter or whatever I apologize. I'm not used to being in front of a camera. Um, and I want to thank you for joining my very first class. Um, I hope that you learned something valuable. Uh, here I have my pendulum ready. So I guess everyone that's ready has their own pendulum. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. Um, mine is just a necklace and um, this part was the earring that I attached on there. Um, I put it on a necklace so I could wear it every day. You want to be able to keep it on you so that um, it can get used to your energy. Now the first thing you want to do before you use your pendulum is make sure it's clear. Um, make sure there's no energy attached to it that you don't want. Um, you just hold it in your hand and you can say a prayer over it if you believe in prayers or I mean, I, I'm attuned to Reiki so I'll just turn my Reiki on and hold it there. Um, you can ask God to help you clear any energy you don't want. Just hold it there for a few minutes till you feel that it's all clear. Um, and then you want to attune it to yourself and hold it close to your body. Now also before you do any energy work it's always important to ground, center, and protect yourself. Um, if you don't know how to do that, uh, first thing, put your, make sure your feet are on the ground and imagine roots going out from your feet into the ground. That's the grounding part. You make sure you feel connected to the earth. Um, and then to center yourself, you just concentrate on your heart space or your solar plexus, which you know a little bit farther down, wherever you feel your center is, and just concentrate there and take some deep breaths. Okay, so you feel like you're centered into yourself. And then you want to protect yourself. So imagine a white divine light coming from inside you. Um, or you could pray and say, God, send me some divine light. Imagine that light going out around your body into your aura until you have a nice big light bubble then you can imagine that it is a bubble or it has a shell whatever makes you feel safe within your space that's how you protect yourself okay so now that that's all done you can start with your pendulum so a pendulum really all it is is a divining tool it um, operates on the vibrations coming from you. That's why you want to attune it to yourself. It's basically a way to tap into your higher self. Um, so what you want to do first is set it up for a yes or no. You can just use it just the way it is and see how it reacts. Or you could say swing this way for yes. And then say show me yes and it should begin to swing back and forth in, in to, to the yes position or ask it a question that you know like my name is Dawn and it starts swinging back and forth for yes all right, and then for no, usually it's a side-to-side -side movement like this. Say, move like this for no. Okay. Say, my name is Tom. My name is Mary. 
and it starts going back and forth to indicate no. Now if you're unsure of, of the way that it's moving, you can also print out a little chart and it's across yes, no, and ha have it underneath your pendulum, you know, and use it to watch and see how it's reacting if it's saying yes or no. But um, yeah, that's all it is basically, just set it up and just practice with it with questions that you know are yes or no answers and get used to the way that it swings for you okay so that concludes pendulum use 101 thank you for coming <laughs>